Hi, thank you for joining me. My name is Yenka, and in this tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to send a go-live request as a registered business on Paystack. Now, before you can send a go-live request on Paystack, you must have first set up your business account on paystack.com, either as a registered or a startup business. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I had already created a registered business account on Paystack that I named Ladies Place. And as you can see here, this is my dashboard for Ladies Place. This is where Paystack will lead you to after you had signed up on the website. Uh, you can see that my business, Ladies Place, is still in test mode, which means that I need to provide the required documents in order for Paystack to activate my business and so I can start receiving live payments from my customers. Now, typically, when you get here, the Get Started link is usually at the top of your menu list, and this is where you see your activate business section for you to provide the required document. So we're just going to get right into it and click on Start under Activate Your Business. Now, on the Activate Your Business page, uh, there are four sections. Uh, the first, to provide company registration information. The second, to provide corporate bank account information. The third, to provide your business information. And the fourth section here, which is to provide um, documents if you want international payment to be enabled for your business. Like you can see here, this fourth section is optional and you don't necessarily have to fill it at this point. Uh, once you fill up these three sections, you can send activation requests. And anytime you have your international, um, if you have a required document for a requesting for international payment, you can always come back to your dashboard to make a request. So we're just going to begin from the top, which is providing our company registration document. So continue. The first question here says, what type of registration does your business have? Uh, so it is either your CSA certificate is uh, the certificate of incorporation or the business registration certificates or even the CSA IT uh, certificate. But here we're just going to select for the purpose of this tutorial an RSA number. An RSA number is assuming that we have a CSC certificate of incorporation. The next field here is to enter your RC number, so we're just going to enter a test RC number here. Your RC number is usually found at the top left of your CAC certificate. So we move on to uploading our CAC document itself. So we click here, we wait for it to upload, great, and then we save. So the first section is checked. Uh, we move to providing the corporate bank account information. So continue so here you provide your bank name and your corporate bank account number it is important to note that the name on the corporate bank account that you provide has to match with the name on the CAC document we uploaded for section one so we're just going to select a random bank name here enter a bank account number uh, for the purpose of testing this process, you can see that my account number, which is supposed to be verified here, is not because I provided the wrong account information. Typically, if the account number and the name um, are, were correct, um, the bank account name would show here um, that Paystack had already checked for it. So we're just going to pr proceed and click on save here. Now the third section is to provide the business information, so continue. Uh, the first question here says, what does Ladies Place do? Uh, it is important, this is expected to be a proper description of what uh, our business will be doing. It is required so that Paystack will properly categorize our business on the records. So we're just going to say um, ladiesplace.com is an online store where we sell female wares and accessories. Great. So the next field here says business email. Uh, the business email is the email address where uh, business information from Paystack will be sent directly to you. It is filled because I provided this while signing up, but you can always change uh, the email address right at this point. But we're going to leave this as it is. Uh, moving to the next field, which is to provide a support email. 
the support email address is the email address where customers can reach you directly if they need help, if they have questions, or just need to get in touch with you. Uh, this is usually attached to the payment receipts that is sent to the customer after making payments. So we're just going to provide support at ladiesplace.com here. Great. Now, the next field is to provide a chargeback email. Uh, the chargeback email address is, uh, is an email address where Paystack will be sending um, notifications of when banks create disputes on transactions. So if in case the, ba the bank wants to reach out to you to confirm if value was given for a payment or not, um, this is where we'll be notifying you directly so that you can review the chargeback created by the bank. Now, we advise that, a chargeback, that your chargeback email address is a dedicated email box where you also have a dedicated person to always check because there is a specific time you have to respond to chargebacks, right? So we're just going to provide chargebacks at ladiesplace.com here. Great. Now, we move on to the next field. Uh, the next field is to provide the phone number of a business. This is uh, the number here is also the phone number that I provided while signing up, but you can change or edit it at this point. But we're going to just leave this as it is. Uh, we move on to the next field, which is to provide the physical address of a business. So we're just going to say 3A Ladoke Akintola Close Ikeja GRA Legacy. Yeah, so the remaining fields are to provide the website link for the business, uh, say ladiesplace.com, and then to provide the social uh, media links of a business. As you can see here that some fields are carrying the red asterisks, which means that these fields are compulsory for you to fill. Um, these ones are not compulsory if you don't have a, um, a website or social media pages, you can leave them. Uh, but once we filled all the important fields, we just go on to save. Great. So you can see, like I explained earlier, that your send activation request button is already unlocked, which means that you can proceed with sending your activation request even without filling this fourth section, uh, because again, it is optional. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to continue and see what it looks like in this section. Now, the international payment section is where you upload your CSA um, certificates, um, your full CSA registration pack, and director's ID of your company. Now, uh, it is on this field here, you click on the upload a file button and provide your CSA pack. Now, your CSA pack is the complete registration pack that the CSA gives to you after your company is registered. This pack usually has um, usually has a lot of forms and one of the forms which is called the CAC form 7 is the form that has a list of all the directors of a company and it is important that this form is part of a pack that you've uploaded um, if you wish for international payment for your business so you can see that you can upload as many documents as possible or as you wish uh, so yes so that is done um, Underneath here is to provide the IDs of the directors, of two directors of a company. Uh, the acceptable IDs um, are the passports, the driver's license, or the national ID. So we're just going to upload our director's IDs. Um, director ID 1, done. Director ID 2, done. Yeah, um, it is quite important for you to also note that the director IDs that you provide here um, are to be the same, are to be among the list of director, directors that are listed on your CAC pack. Now, so you just go on to save once that is done. Great. So we filled for all, we filled all four sections of the activity in your business page. Uh, so we're just going to proceed to send activation requests. Great. So it means you can see here that the activation request is done and an email will also be sent to your mailbox immediately to say, uh, to notify you that your activation request has been sent. Uh, activation would usually take uh, 
24 hours and then you get a confirmation email from paystack if everything checks out uh, you log in back to your dashboard you will then see that your business changes from test mode to live mode that's about it on sending a go live request as a registered business on paystack uh, thank you for watching